another morning out on the local beach because it's too hot to go anywhere else. A uh, couple of developments I thought I'd share with you and a little bit of photography. I hope you'll enjoy the video. If you do and you're new here, don't forget to hit subscribe before you go. Good morning everyone. It is the 16th of August and uh, the last three, four days we've had uh, severe heat warnings here in Spain. Uh, not too bad where we've been, although it's been sort of in the, in the high 30s, low 40s here. Uh, in some parts of Spain we've had temperatures hitting up well over 45, up to almost 50 degrees in places. Uh, they've actually uh, even taken the measures of shutting down some of the sort of mountain areas and the, the natural parks, uh, both from a health perspective for people you know, going out and making themselves ill, but also uh, because of the risk of fire. It's supposed to be cooling down a little bit today, but I still come out early in the morning and I'm just going to have a play around. We've got a very calm sea and I took a shot when uh, there were still some lights on and we were getting some reflections of some of the buildings along the seafront in the sea. So I thought I'd take a quick shot of that and then see what else I can find. So uh, we'll have a look at that now, shall we? That's going to be a 16 by 9 crop, by the way. I've come down off of the breakwater to the side. What's really interesting about this scene is there's a curved cloud pattern running across the scene. And what I've decided to do is something uh, definitely a little bit different with this because what I'm using is my fisheye lens. I'm using it uh, as a super wide, so I've put the horizon across the middle of the frame but that's accentuating that cloud curvature and also the curvature of the beach in the foreground. So I noticed when I came down here, there was this little rock sitting on the edge of the sand just as the waves were coming in. And every so often the water washes around it. So I've decided to use that as a foreground in a fairly wide angle shot. The rock is on the lower left of the frame. Then we've got the breakwater going out across the uh, sort of top right of the frame with quite a nice cloud pattern up above.
So I'm going to set up and do a shot of some of the people fishing out right out on the end of the breakwater because I think it looks a little bit interesting. Zoomed in on the 55 to 200 lens, putting the breakwater coming in from the right hand side of the frame with the people standing there fishing on it. Bit of sea, bit of sky, probably a 16 by 9 crop. Sometimes it's easy to forget about the small details when you've got a big scene in front of you. That rock that I was using as foreground interest earlier is now actually forming the main, the, almost all of an image. I've got a vertical composition set up, although this may end up going square. I don't know, it depends on how the final image looks when I decide which one I'm going to use. Zoomed in, uh, probably about 120 mil, something like that. And I'm just trying to capture waves moving around it. Ideally, I'm going to get the rock, a bit of reflection, maybe some wave textures, maybe a bit of sand in there. Just a small, detailed shot. It might look quite nice. And I am shooting high-speed continuous to try and capture the sort of the best bit of water movement around it. So one of the things I didn't mention is that although the towns to the north and the south of here have had night curfews for the last few weeks, um, we haven't had, but that changed today basically and uh, we now have a night curfew here at least for the next two or three weeks, which is a bit of a pain. It does make it difficult to get very far in the mornings and it's still too hot to be out normally during the daytime at least doing any kind of exertion anyway that's me uh, done for the morning i'm going to uh, get off the beach head for home see what kind of images i've managed to get and of course get my breakfast and my coffee i hope you've enjoyed this video if you have please give it a like share it on social media leave me a comment down below if you're new here and you've enjoyed this don't forget to hit subscribe before you go and as always I really appreciate you taking the time to watch, so thank you very much. And until the next video, bye.